Hey guys, Sky up here. I'm back with another GFX tutorial. <laughs> you guys really seem to like the last one where I did the Star Wars one back on my old crappy laptop a few months ago. And you got me over 1k views, so I find that pretty cool. You know, my channel only has around 20, 22 ish, I think that's the exact number right now. Subscribers, so um, getting 1k views is kind of a lot for this small channel. But that also means that uh, over 1,000 people watched and only around 3 subscribed. So if you end up finding this tutorial helpful and you just make pretty cool GFX using it, uh, consider subscribing. These videos take some time to edit and they take some time to record as well. So without further ado, let's get into the actual video. So you're going to need to install a few things before we get started. One of them being the load character plugin by Already Pro. This is going to allow you to import your actual Roblox character into the studio, so you can make a GFX of it. All download links are in the description. Alright, once you have this installed, let's just head over to Roblox Studio. Okay, now that we're in Roblox Studio, head over to the plugins area, find the load character plugin, and spawn in your avatar or whoever you're making a GFX of. Now this is my little guy here with the pink sunglasses as well. And you're gonna wanna make sure that you have spawn at origin selected. There needs to be an X there. And you also need to spawn it in R6. Alright, now that we've got him here, head over to the explorer. Find your hats. They should have this little hat icon next to them. Hold control. And then export them using the export selection and then just uh, save them making a new file does help a lot so that's what I recommend doing it keeps everything nice and organized you know where to find it immediately so we're just gonna save this as hats all right now we're done with that you can delete it you can just remove it from existence all right now we go to the actual character export selection and do the same thing. I'm going to be saving it to the same folder because it just, like I said earlier, just makes everything so much more organized. So we're just going to save this as a uh, body. And my phone just went off. I should turn that on silent. Sorry about that, guys. All right. Now we're just done with Roblox Studio. All right. Now you're going to want to open Paint Rig. To open Paint Rig, you just head over to your start and type in Paint Rig. The download link for this will also be in the description. Alright, we're in Paint Rig now. Let's uh, scroll into these boxes over here. Focus on the orange one. Double tap that file icon. And find the textures. It should look something like this. Now we're just going to double tap on that. And look, we're already on our way. So next, head over to the file icon. Import wavefront.obj you have to make sure it's wavefront.obj now find the hats and double tap it do not import the .mtl all right now we got our hats in they may look invisible but this is normal for now we're gonna fix that later all right now what we're gonna want to do is drag this down a lot find your hats hold control find a underscore head attachments and while still holding control, press P, and then select object. This anchors the hats to your head. If we didn't do this and we move the head, your hats would not move with it. Now we're going to get started with our actual pose. To get started on our actual pose, select this little orange box down there, and select pose mode. Alright, and you can make a pose using these move and rotate tools. And they're pretty self-explanatory. You can move and you can rotate them. body parts and the, whatever. Now, one thing that it doesn't really show what to do, since there's no two boxes for the legs here, is if you want to bend the legs downwards, you have to select that box, use the move tool, and then drag it down. And if you also want the legs to go behind the body like they're running, you have to select the downwards box and then do that. And another really, really helpful tip, do not forget this, is Control z is undo. I have to undo things all the time, even though I've been doing this for months now. It's a really helpful tool, and it's just easy for 
small mistakes, big mistakes, anything. It helps a lot. Alright, we're gonna make a pose now, and I'll see you guys when I'm done. Alright guys, I'm finished with my pose now, so we're gonna start just saving this thing. It looks pretty basic right now, so if you want to add props and like different colored lighting, be sure to watch part 2 of the tutorial. But if you just want something simple like this for a profile picture, this is completely fine. So let's head over to this globe icon over here. Select the yellow dot on color, then select environment texture. Now we're going to go over to here. This may cause some lag, so we're going to temporarily go to the TV icon and switch to Eevee. Eevee renders things faster, but Cycles is better quality. So when we're actually going to be finishing with this thing, we're going to be using Cycles. So go back to the red globe icon and press open. Now we're going to use an HDRI. I'm going to be using a nice bright sunrise HDRI for this, but if you want like an afternoon or like a nighttime option, I'll leave some extra links in the description. This is all about being creative and just making your own unique GFX. So I don't actually have mine saved to the folder, but I do know how to easily find it, so I'm just going to use my sunrise one I have in here. Alright, now that we have this open, it might lag a little bit since I'm using 8K, but there we go. We have some nice lighting. So now what we're going to want to do is go back to the TV icon. Now we're going to tick ambient... whatever... I can't speak. <laughs> we're going to tick whatever that is, because that kind of like sharpens the shadows a little bit. And then bloom, I don't usually like to have it on, it kind of just makes everything brighter. But yeah, I don't really like to have it on. It's your choice. Then find film, and then select transparent. This is going to make the background transparent. Alright, now we're going to change back to cycles. And now, notice how our hat is no longer transparent. That's because, remember, I said in the beginning that we were going to be fixing that. Alright, now, let's get to rendering. Go back into object mode by clicking on the little box on the in the bottom, and go to object mode. Then, select add, camera. And then we're going to move the camera around, and press this button to find a good position for your GFX. Alright, now that, that looks pretty good. We're, we're gonna be using that. And then all we want to do now is select Render and Render Image. Now, if you are using a lower-end device like a laptop or just a normal office PC, I don't recommend going with an 8K HDRI. I recommend maybe going for something like just a normal 1K, which is like, or 2K. Or maybe even 4K if you think your laptop or device can handle it. But it's just going to be rendering here for a few minutes and then we'll just uh, be back when it's done. Alright guys, now that it's finished rendering, you just have to go to image, save as, and you can save it as whatever you want. I'm going to save it as example GFX. And let's just save it. Now if we search up example GFX, here it is. So, thank you guys for watching, and um, if you want to see how to add props and better lighting, watch part two of the tutorial. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.